Hello, my name is Victor and welcome to 3M1 Golf. Today I will be comparing the Octopus 2 Golf Simulator and the Skytrack Golf Simulator. I will do a direct comparison between the two. So I will not hit one shot with the Octopus 2 system and then after that hit a shot with the Skytrack. Uh, so I have them set up so uh, I have the Skytrack uh, laser on the Octoshot 2 system. So uh, when I hit the ball from the Octoshot 2 system, the Skytrack will uh, also track the ball. So as you can see, to the, to the right we have the Skytrack software and to the left we have the uh, Octoshot 2 system. And uh, guys, uh, I will do a series with the, the after shot where I play 18 holes and I will play 3 holes in each video so it will be a total of 6 videos with the after shot so you guys can get information about that if you uh, want some information or thinking about buying one. I will also do a uh, uh, series with the Skytrack where I play 18 holes in the E6 Connect software. That will also be six videos, three holes each time. And I will also show some uh, of the practice areas on the E6 Connect as well and compare them to uh, uh, the Skytrack uh, software. If you're interested in the Skytrack club data. I have some shots with it. I don't think it's that accurate, but uh, it shouldn't be because they removed it from the beta program, uh, but they are still working on it. I'll uh, give you some info in the end of, end of the video. And guys, if this video can get 20 likes, I will be moving the Optisher 2 system and the Skytrack up to the big simulator and uh, compare drives as well because I can't hit drives here because uh, the roof is too low and also guys don't forget to subscribe like the video and also hit the notification bell Okay guys, I will be hitting 10 shots and compare them with the... Uh, I have a 8 iron. Okay, as you can see we hit the green on the Octoshot 2 system. And on the Skytrack, uh, a bit too short. Okay, third shot guys. Okay, as you can see there, the Shot showed me a fade while the Skytrack gave me a draw. Both gave me a fade again. Okay, guys, as you can see in the Optishot 2 system, the balls fly a bit further than they do on the Skytrack, and I think. Uh, Sorry, I don't think I know the Skytrack is more accurate with the lengths than the Octoshot are. Okay guys, there we have some difference again. 
in the systems, the optishot think uh, that I got a fade, and the skytrack gave me a draw. As you can see guys on the screen, each time I hit the ball, the sky track is a bit delayed and that's, that has to do with the system. I don't know why, but uh, uh, that's just the way sky track is built. You always get one or two second delays when you, uh, after you hit the ball, before the ball takes off in the software. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the both uh, systems gave me a fade again. So I think the OptiShot is doing a pretty good job, considering that the OptiShot just costs between $300 and $400. Yeah, so the uh, OptiShot keeps moving a bit forward each time I hit the ball, so I have to push it back. and. Uh, uh, so that is a bit of a problem, so for the next video I'll get some double sided tape and make sure it doesn't move so we can get the, uh, the exact, exact same readings uh, uh, for each shot. Okay, on that shot I tried to hit a bit of a draw. The sky track gave me a draw, but the opti shot gave me a fade. But as I said before, the opti shot, the, the opti shot does a really good job uh, considering its price point. And if you if you're starting uh, to get into the golf simulators and don't want to spend uh, two grand on a sky track and uh, uh, the hitting screen, uh, the OptiShot is a great option to start with. And you don't even have to get uh, a screen, you can just have the computer showing uh, the shots. So with just a basic computer and the OptiShot and of course a net or something to hit into, uh, you can have your own simulator for a very, very cheap price. Oh nice, we hit the green on the sky track. I haven't been doing that uh, <laughs> too much, uh, these shots. But those two shots looked very similar on the, on the screens, as you can see. So, really good. I think uh, the sky track really picks up when I hit the ball a bit thinner, because then I lose around 10 meters or five to ten meters and don't get uh, my uh, length that I usually have on the course. Uh, I think I usually carry the, my 8 iron around uh, 140 or 145. Okay guys, last shot. So let's hit the green. I'm quoting the rock. Focus!
as you can see on the screen, the ball flights are very similar. And uh, there are some difference in the swing speed. The Optishop has 82 miles per hour and uh, the Skytrack shows uh, 95. And uh, I know for a fact that I hit my A Tyrant around 90 to 94 miles per hour. Okay guys, we have uh, the 10 shots here with the, the A Tyrant. Uh, in the next video, I think I'm gonna do the wedge. I won't do the A Tyrant and the wedge in the same video because it will take it. It will be a really long video. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe, like the video and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos about the Skytrack and the Aftershot 2 system where I will do uh, the uh, where I will play on the course with the Aftershot and the Skytrack and show the features of them. Uh, and on the Aftershot I will play the courses that's available for free and on the Skytrack I will use the E6 Connect software uh, and play a course. Uh, I will do three holes at a time and I will also do, do some videos showing uh, the training facilities that you get with the E6 Connect system. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.